been causing me so much grief. Um, so as we can see here, at least I hope we can see here, little orange LED is blinking happy. And uh, we're all set to test the software here that should just give us a PW um, output that's dependent on the uh, throttle pot here. So we have the scope here on the uh, on the uh, scope here on the gate of the first IGBT here, which is this guy here. So we're going to power this up now, and I've got a uh, a DC amp clamp on here. It's not the the most uh, accurate thing, but uh, it'll give us. Uh, a general idea of how much current that we're drawing from our 12 volt uh, gel battery here to turn over the starter here so I'll go ahead and just start to advance the PWM and uh, should start to see it take shape here we go you can see we're starting to draw some current there now as well as I increase it. Current increases and about uh, our starter is starting to turn now. Uh, we're in about 26 amps now, 27 amps. You can hear it turning now. And I'll put on a bit of extra light here so we can hopefully see the Bendix turning there and spinning now the only thing that oh that's interesting what happened there okay maybe just short circuited the pot there I think so as we increase we see our current increase as the PWM increases 48 amps, 39 amps there now. Uh, PWM is nearly at full. The starter is spinning like crazy. Up around 44 amps now. I'd say we're starting to drain the battery at this stage, so I'll back it off a little bit. Turn back down here a bit, so that we just keep the Bendix turning slowly. I'm drawing about 31 and a half amps or so. The only thing that has me a little bit concerned, I don't know if you can see it too well with the camera, but there's a spike here where the gate turns off so I need to try to figure out uh, what's going on there I think our battery is starting to die here now it's causing our starter to have a bit of a heart attack and increase the PWM a small bit there now to compensate Ooh. Something's not happy here now battery's gone I would imagine our battery is gone. But we have a nice fresh gel cell here now, so we'll uh, try to have another attempt at uh, getting our starter to move. There she goes. Just let that idle there at a slow speed. About 28 amps or so on that. Now, as I was saying, let me turn off that light there, we'll be able to see a little bit better. It's these turn off spikes that I'm a little bit concerned with. So, I have to try and figure out. Oh, I think our battery is having another heart attack. Always use these high quality batteries that I have, give her a little bit more juice. There we go. So, as I was saying, I want to try to figure out what's going on here with these turn off spikes because there is a bit of um, a bit of tendency for it to actually undershoot there 
see if I can get in there a little bit. There we go. It's a bit better. Actually, see, look. Mm -hmm. Go on, starter. Keep going. You can do it. You can see better there now, actually, as I increase the PWM a little bit. It's like it's having a problem turning off. It's not turning off as fast as it's, as it's actually turning on. Now, that is a... Um, that is a uh, characteristic of the IGDT, as far as I'm aware. That it takes a bit more power to turn one of these things off than it does to turn it on again. So, well, apart from that, uh, let's put the out. There we go. Spinning our starter there, happy, and starter's only getting a tiny bit of this form at this, at this stage. Our transistors aren't feeling a thing, that plate is stone cold. Um, our battery isn't exactly high, high quality, but Gone about 30 amps from it there and now at that, so you can't blame the thing, it's only a 7 amp hour gel cell. Um, but yeah, it seems to be um, it seems to be a good uh, a good enough uh, system at this stage. So I just need to solve this turn off issue here. And uh, we should be able to scale up this be able to scale this up to a um, something that takes a bit more power, I would hope, anyway. But, uh, yeah, about 28, 29 amps now. Spinning away. So, uh, yeah, comes along well, I think, so far. Need to beef this up with the 1600 amp um, IGDTs that I have coming in now, and um, hopefully we'll see how that uh, idea fares out for us.